Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. Let's talk about hyperphoria versus hypertropia. Now, this is a condition in which one eye tends to kind of be out of alignment with the other eye. It can happen with reading. It can happen with pretty much any task or thing that you're doing. If it's a position of the eye kind of at rest, it's considered to be a hyperphoria, and it may only happen certain times. If it's large enough and it's noticeable where we see the movement, actually, if we kind of look at somebody's eye, and we can see the eye jumping up and down, that's actually a hypertropia or a form of strabismus. And in other words, it's an eye turn. Now, let's talk about what we do to treat these two situations because we treat them exactly the same, whether it's a hyperphoria, you know, maybe you're reading across a line of print and you get to the end of the line and you jump down and you skip a few lines, or maybe your child does that. That actually might be an indicator of a hyperphoria or a hypertropia which just means an eye that jumps up out of alignment at times. And this can come from lots of different conditions, but let's just show you kind of some filter here, a filter. Oh, because I've got a bunch of filters on my desk. I think we'll show you this one. This one is the most closely related filter that I have. It still is not perfect. You can see that's a real greeny green kind of a color. We actually use a little bit more of like a royal blue kind of color for fixing and correcting these things along with vision therapy, which is like kind of um, physical therapy and occupational therapy for the brain and eyes, where we're training the brain how to align and use the two eyes together better. But the syntonics or the light therapy is kind of an electrical trigger to the muscles that are allowing this to go on in the first place. So through a process that we actually have come to find out is really beneficial over the years of certain lenses in a particular order, we're able to treat patients who have hyperphoria or hypertropia. And these conditions, usually we used to say you only see these in traumatic brain injury patients. Well, that's definitely the case. Almost all, I don't know, I hesitate to say all, but a lot of our brain injury patients will have a condition of hypertropia, but we can also notice it in other patients. And um, we've had some really interesting situations of kids and adults who like to read on their side laying down or like to watch TV or like to play games on their phone and they're laying off to one side always. And so the eyes misalign creates lots of problems, or maybe even the child who's sitting in a classroom where their desk is face forward, but they may have to look off the side and up to be able to see a board on the side of the room. That's a lot of times actually one of the reasons why kids can develop a hyperphoria or hypertropia. Now, what will you notice when you're reading to the end of the line? and you jump down, we call that a return sweep, they may jump a couple of lines or a line and lose their place. That can be an indicator of a hyperphoria or hypertropia. Another thing that's a strong indicator is that whenever you look at them and they're doing something, they might tilt their head to read. So, so you see them kind of in these weird positions when they're reading or watching TV or they're looking off to the side like this to watch the TV, then that's an indicator of potentially a hypertropia, but also maybe a different form of strabismus that would be more of a horizontal form of strabismus. So watch those types of things with your kids or maybe with your significant other even, that they may not be aware that whenever they really pay close attention to details, they might turn their head whenever they're listening. Now I'm exaggerating it, it might not be this much, it might be a lesser degree of turn, you can also notice this in young um, children. So infants and toddlers may develop or may have what's called torticollis, which is a head turn. And if it's kind of like a chronic head turn, that can indicate a lot of things, including the potential for something like a hypertropia. Now, we don't shy away from treating these, and we don't tend to necessarily prescribe prisms in order to correct for them, which is very, very common, actually, with a lot of doctor's offices. Instead, what we want to do, prism is kind of our last resort. We're going to use it to train the brain how 
to use the two eyes together, but as a last resort as a form of a kind of like a fix. So we're not just going to put a prism in someone's glasses simply because we want to try and help them to see better and align things. We actually want to train the brain how to be the control center. So the syntonics kind of electrically triggers the muscles in charge of this up and down motion of the eyes and vision therapy is kind of like physical therapy and occupational therapy combined training the brain and eyes how to function better together as a team. So we have tons of patients that we work with who have hypertropia. We have some pretty awesome results and the numbers are actually pretty amazing. We put kind of a value or amount to the the turn of the hypertropia or whether it's a lateral type of um, strabismus and so the amount of which the eye goes up the brain doesn't really like that amount to be off by much in fact even just a half of what's called a prism diopter which is a measurement for this misalignment even just a half could be enough to call some cause someone to feel kind of dizzy and nauseous and and not be um, oriented correctly. But we can correct them all the way up to about a nine successfully or even a 10. Those are hard. But around a nine or 10 even without needing to prescribe a prism. But they do take a lot of work. Now if you're interested because maybe you have a hypertropia and you know it because you have a head tilt. Maybe you have glasses with a prism in it or you're wondering if you do because of some of the things that you do, or maybe your child, well then you can go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com, connect with us if you're not local by filling out the questionnaire, or if you're not local and you want to schedule a consultation, then there's a um, button actually on that page to schedule a consultation directly with me. Now if you happen to be local then what we want you to do and prefer for you to do is call our office. But we get bombarded with so many patients every single week that we cannot respond to every single person who contacts our clinic if we're getting phone calls from people over states and um, I'm sorry overseas and out of states. So for that reason, if you're not local, it's best to go to our webpage, fill out either the questionnaire or schedule a consult with me directly. Again, if you're local, give us a call. Our phone number is 618-288-1489. Pass this video along if you feel like it's helpful information. Like it, and of course, if you love our content, then subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be able to see more of it. Thank you.